So what we're going to do is first we're going to take everything in touch and delete all our notes on the network. And as we double click, we are going to add a folder <clears throat> and we're going to point the folder at a spot in our computer. And so I just happened to put something on my desktop, which I labeled um, video and pics. So I'm going to select that and it's going to show basically, uh, well, I didn't select it right. So I have to hit video clicks and I have to click it twice and then hit open. And it's going to show all my video and my picture files within this folder. And I'm putting pictures in this for a reason to, uh, that we didn't do in class, but to also show you a different example. So um, after a folder, we are going to right click and we are going to add a select. So we have this two component of dots, and this is basically giving our folder and our select. Um, as we change in here, we're also going to include first row. So this is our path right here, which is basically showing our name and our path or zero point in, in uh, this dat, and then our files obviously underneath. So here's the folder, and this is gonna be our selection to tool for the folder. And then we're going to select index, so by index. And it's showing again, there's seven items in here with a zero point being one, or, or the starting row being zero. So what we did in class two is we also added a, a clock. And so we took a clock and we picked up the actual seconds from here. And we deleted a bunch of stuff just as an example. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to then right click on here again. I'm going to use a select. And instead of deleting all that, I am just going to co um, select the seconds. So we have our section right here and we have our clock and we're selecting our seconds and we are going to put a limit. So now our limit is going to be trying to limit what we have in this folder. So how many files we have in this folder, right? <clears throat> and we have seven right now. And, and part of the thing I didn't cover in class that I want to cover here is when you, if, if we put in our limit right here and we change this to a loop and, um, and we wanted to say, um, here is the different files that we have in here. And this is like the starting point with our minimum and maximum. And we don't know exactly what that max is. So we add another folder or we add another video uh, into our folder. And then, you know, this is going to change, right? Because the folder is always going to be actually when we write a synchronous update, it's going to update anytime we add a new file in there, right? And so what I'm going to show you too is if we right click on here and we select chop to info. It gives us this extra box over here and it looks weird at first, but once you drag it, it will just pop in there. And this extra box is giving the info of all the information within this folder, right? So it's kind of like a breakdown and it's showing you, hey, the number of rolls, number of columns, the cook times, the frames, all the rest of this stuff. Uh, and cook times in Touch Designer is really giving you how long it's going to take, right? So it's like saying cook time is this amount of time that it's going to uh, process this. And if you have long cook times, it's mean it's taking longer. So this is another thing of efficiency to see how your network is working, right? Um, but what we want here is we want the number of rows. And that's basically going to just show in here and saying here's how many rows are on this. Right, and as we add a new file, it will change this number of rows because this is picking up and saying, oh, instead of having these um, four videos and three pictures, which would be seven files, again, remember a zero to seven, kind of weird, computer lingo, we have eight number of rows, right? So in our limit this is a good thing to do where we are taking and if we hit the little plus button and we add our number of rows and we create to maximum 
and we do a chop reference, it's giving you this section of saying, okay, I see what the max is now, right? So it's going to count and it's going to then switch. And anytime we add a new file, it will automatically understand that the limit of this is set to eight, right? <clears throat> so we also, we're going to change this to zero for our minimum. So we're counting from one, two, three, um, all the way up to eight, um, which is really just our seven files. So we're going to start through our zero to one to three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to see, and we're going to might have to adjust this in a second. But um, so we have this kind of network right here, right? So we have this information, we have a select, and we need to add our movie player, right? So in our top, and we take our movie file in, and this is what is going to play the different files. Um, and this is what we showed in class where we did a little Python, is we're gonna select this, and under here, we're gonna type in our script, which is basically the code to say, to look into this select chop, right? And so we do OP, which is going to be the operator. We then in parentheses type in select one, because that is the name right down here. And so we have OP in parentheses select one. And then we do bracket and not curly bracket. So if you see, there's the little bracket on your keyboard and the curly bracket will have a curl in it. And then we type one, and then we um, type path. And then we close the bracket. And this stuff is important. So um, our apostrophe and um, our quotes, so this is, so it's basically saying, I'm looking at this right here. I'm going to look for row one, because this is what we want to play. And this is why it says one, and it's gonna be following in this path, right? So as we do that, we click it, we press return. It is now picking that picture, which is a PNG. And it's saying, I'm seeing this picture because that is row one. So it's not changing anything in the select because we haven't created anything. Well, we created this, but we haven't addressed this in the select to create, right? So we then hit the plus button again. We drag our little second. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add one more thing because in case we change our network, it's always good to add a rename. And we put our rename in here. And we are just going to change this to um, movie select. So that is now changing the name from a second. And this is in case we wanted to change this value in our select. Instead of having a second, we were going to check um, select like a minute. Um, and so you could in here basically say, I'm going to take this, I'm going to select everything again, but then I'm going to select a minute. Uh, seconds, I'm just using an example so we can see, as I pointed out in class. Um, so we are going to use seconds to make it quick. So we have to wait a minute to see how the, the file changes. Right, so we have this, we have our network, we have our movie file in, and in our select, we after we hit index, we want to do the start row index. And this is going to say, hey, this is the file that I'm looking for, right? So we take this. Um, oh, one more thing we want to add, always as a favorite, is our null. And this is our end of chain. So we, we go in here, we select this, we take this, and we drag it on here and we do our chop reference. So as you can see now, it is selecting from our file database the different files within that. So it is playing these files and it's just making a very 
efficient system to pull data off your hard drive and uh, not have a bunch of movie files or a bunch of, you know, picture files uh, within your system, right? Um, so again, what we did in class is, you know, we, we kind of came up basically with this network. And one thing I'm going to add to this is if you right click on here and you add a fit, and fit is basically like it's going to change the resolution. So no matter what resolution you have in here, it's always going to say, I'm going to have this equal resolution, right? So when we make our networks, if we had like a video that was 4K and a video that was, uh, you know, 1920 by 1080, they're going to be two different sizes and how they go out on your screen could be one could be small, one could be big, 1270 by 720 all those different types of things, right? So we're gonna take our fit, and this is basically saying, is this going to fit best, or is it going to fit outside? And we're gonna select fit outside. And basically, it's always going to, whatever resolution you're setting within your fit, is it is always going to be that consistent resolution that's coming out. And you can find this within the common, and you can say, okay, I'm gonna do this, resolution or custom resolution and um, my custom resolution I could say I'm going to make this 1920 by 1080 and you can see right off the bat it took our images that were really um, a 512 by 512 image and it stretched them to 1920 by 1080 so it filled the whole screen um, so there we have that you know, so this is kind of showing basically our little movie fit player and, and scrolling through these different images. And, you know, within every second, it is changing something, right? So the other thing that I talked about in class is once we make this nodal network, we want to then save this or, or make this a its own container. So right now in Touch Designer, it's in our whole project file. Uh, but it's not in its specific base or container. So what we do is we select all this. So all our nodes are selected and we right click and we go to collapse selected. Once we're in collapse selected, you will see that we have our little base container and let's just call this movie player. And uh, what would be cool is we can't see anything in this movie player, but we can make a little um, output or a little null in here to show on that display. So what I'm going to do is at the end of this chain, I am going to add a null and not an Oculus Rift. I selected the wrong one. I know that everyone likes my uh, search and select in Touch Designer. So we're going to take this now and we're going to add this to the end of the chain and we're going to call this BG. And there's two things we're doing here. We're going to add a, um, the null. Um, so this is always going to be a reference of what's inside the network. And then we're also going to, um, we're going to add an out, right? So we have two things coming out of our fit. And really what I wanted to do is have the out on the outside of the null. I just double changed myself, but you can see, so we have BG, which is our null, which BG stands for background. That's my little acronym for it. And then our out is going to be our outlet that when you look in here, you are going to see our out file right here. And um, why I'm showing this as a double step is if I click this, you would actually see what's playing in here right now, because in our common, it is selecting the out as the operator viewer. So the operator viewer is what is showed when you click the display within a base. Um, at points when you start to build more networks, you're gonna see where you don't want to always have outs. And it's just like cleanliness thing of where you're selecting networks from other networks. Um, but what I wanted to do is explain this a little bit of putting this little no and then changing uh, your movie player display. So instead of the operator viewer being out one, I'm going to change this to BG, which I just created. And it's actually doing the same thing, right? So it's showing the BG on 
on this display, but if I went in here and I deleted my out, you will see that it's still showing it. So end of chain, BG, this is the display. There's no outlet right here. Um, it's a nice clean container that I can come in here and select this null and uh, move this into another network. And I'll explain that a little bit more in class. So we created this. And the one thing is you can see, the one thing that I wanted to describe is I have some pictures playing in here and I have some videos. So let's say I only wanted to have the pictures. I can go into my folder and instead of all extensions, I can just say, I want to have only image and sections. Right, so now it is just scrolling through our images. And one of the benefits of creating this little info top in here is I also, by changing my limit, adjusted this limit to now four, right? Because it's doing a little bit of a calculation on math because there's four different things because it's seeing, again, zero and the three images, not to be overly confusing, but there's four line items in this folder but there's only three images. So let's say my maximum value is four. So now we are just playing images. If we also go to our folder and we decide to not play the images and we only want the movie extensions, you can see now it is only selecting the four movies. And if we look in here again, it is showing uh, our info and in our limit it is now showing five because there is four movies, right? So hopefully this helped and hopefully this explained a little bit about what we did in class. And if you need to dive back in or you forget what we did or those on Zoom uh, can see this. Uh, thank you very much and looking forward to see you guys in class next week.